Hi, my name is Britt. I want to help you understand MIDI files and the benefits they offer from the piano teacher, piano student point of view. MIDI files were created for musicians and standardized in the late 80s. Piano teachers soon discovered the benefits of MIDI files and how they could help piano students overcome the many challenges of piano study, especially learning to keep steady rhythm, learning to read notes, continually improving note reading, and making students, especially beginners, sound more musical. Think of this, if band students were required to take three years of private lessons on an instrument before they could be in the band, most students would quit. It is more musical to learn in a group. MIDI files give piano students the experience of playing in a band, orchestra, or ensemble. There are about 1,500 books that come with MIDI files, and there are thousands of MIDI files available for purchase on the internet. So here are important things for you to know about MIDI files. What's the difference between MIDI files, WAV files, and MP3 files? MP3 and WAV files are audio files, the end product of a sound recording. They are best to deliver sound to the masses via CD players, MP3 players, radio, etc. MIDI files are designed for musicians to make music and for students to learn music as they are the basis for music creation. Why are MIDI files superior for learning? Because they are interactive. You can vary the tempo without a loss of quality. You can solo or mute any part of the music that you hear. You can transpose it without a loss of quality. You can move forward or backward in your music by measure and even create a practice loop. Certain models of digital pianos can even display a musical score from a MIDI file and some will even grade you on how poor or how well you played the piece. What is a MIDI file? Basically, a MIDI file is a set of instructions to tell musical equipment how to play. Because you are accessing the program for music, this is why you can manipulate all of the variables for interaction. A MIDI file takes up one hundredth of the space of the same length MP3 or a thousandth of the space of the same length WAV file. Why does the sound quality of a MIDI file vary by the equipment it's played on? Because a MIDI file is a set of instructions, it can only sound as good as the equipment playing it. A cheap computer sound card or a lousy keyboard makes a MIDI file sound really bad. A high quality musical instrument like a Roland digital piano can make a MIDI file come to life. Isn't there equipment that will transpose and or change the tempo of a CD or an MP3? Yes, there is, like the Roland MT90U or the CD2E. However, because you are altering the end product, there is a loss of quality. With a MIDI file, because you are altering the source, you can change the tempo or pitch without a loss of quality and to a much greater degree. Will MIDI files go away? No. For musicians, they are the control basis for most aspects of music, from lights to sound to drum tracks to video synchronization and more. The end product of music is a CD or MP3. For piano students, MIDI files are fully interactive for learning. How do you acquire MIDI files? You can buy them in books, like this. You can search for MIDI files online, such as Beethoven MIDI, and you can purchase MIDI files online. Why do most books have a floppy disk with MIDI files? MIDI files have been delivered on a floppy disk for about 20 years now. There are thousands of them available for sale and will not go away overnight. MIDI files from publishers may eventually be included on a CD-ROM or an internet download from their website, but we are still a few years away from that. So how do you move your MIDI files from a floppy disk to a USB memory stick. Insert your floppy disk into your computer's disk drive. Insert your USB memory stick into the computer. If your computer does not have a floppy disk drive, you can purchase a USB floppy disk drive. This plugs into the USB port. The floppy disks go into the floppy disk drive. Open my computer or your Windows Explorer. You'll see a list of files. After you've inserted the USB flash drive, click on it and create a folder Title that folder the name of your book, which we call Movie Hits. Now click on your floppy disk drive, click on the top file, click Control A, and then click and drag the files to your folder called Movie Hits on your USB memory stick. Each folder on the flash drive represents a book of MIDI files or a disk of MIDI files. You can create hundreds of folders on one flash drive to store all of your floppy disks. Each folder represents one floppy disk, and each folder can have up to 99 songs in it. What about copyright? When you purchase MIDI files, or any music files, or print music for that matter, you buy the right to use those files. 
You can make a backup copy for yourself, but you cannot give it or sell it to someone else, not even just one song out of a set of songs. If you circumvent the sale of a copyrighted work, then you have committed a copyright violation. You've also removed all incentive for composers and publishers to create new works. How do you convert your CDs to MP3s? The simplest way is to download iTunes. Go to iTunes.com and download iTunes. Once you've gone into the iTunes library, click on Edit, Preferences, go to Advanced. The first thing you'll see under the General tab is where your tunes are located. Make sure that you know where your tunes are. If it's not in a good folder, you can change it to a simpler folder by clicking Change. Next, click on the tab that says Importing, and by default, it'll start out as the AAC encoder. We want to change it to MP3 encoder and select 192 kilobyte per second and then we'll OK that. Insert the CD in your computer's CD drive. In a few seconds iTunes will ask if you want to import this CD into your library. I will say yes and in a few minutes or so it will have imported all the songs. I will click and drag the file where my songs are located. In this case it's called Music for Little Mozarts. I'll click and drag it to my flash drive and now my flash drive contains those mp3s now it will play on your Roland Music Tutor MT90U or any other equipment that plays mp3s